Good night. We're on Thursday night. It's 11 minutes past 10 as I'm going to record the daily meditations with St. Augustine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, O most loving Virgin Mary, that it is a thing unheard of, that anyone ever have recourse to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, and was left forsaken. Fill therefore with confidence in your goodness, I fly to you, O Mother, Virgin of Virgins, to come to you before you I stand, a sorrowful sinner. Despise not my poor words, O Mother of the Word of God, but graciously hear and grant my prayer. Amen. The Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. An act of contrition. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins because they offend you who are so good and with your help I will not sin again. Guardian Angel Prayer Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. The Jesus Prayer, the prayer of the heart. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. The meditation for this Thursday, the 3rd of November, 2022. And it's also the feast day of Saint um, Winifred. I'm going to record it after this. I found it, I've got it in Butler's book. And I heard it at Walsingham today. Her life fascinates to give me the story. So I'm going to record that as well. So the heading for today of St. Augustine. Does God keep nothing special for the good? Benefits from the sky. Benefits from the earth, the springs bubble up, the fields are fertile, the trees are laden with fruit, the good enjoy these things, the bad enjoy them too, the grateful enjoy them, the ungrateful enjoy them. If God bestows such blessings on good and bad alike, do you suppose he keeps nothing special for the good? The Prayer Let us now return to you, O Lord, that we be not overturned, unspoilt. Our good abides with you. For you are yourself our good. This is how it should be, but will not be forever at 
the moment because there's something I must share with you that I made notes of last night. I wanted to go to bed, but I'm so alert after I've been reading and sharing. I'm going to pray some more prayers after I've shared this because we need to pray about what I'm going to tell you. And uh, so I happened to happened on a, um, a video that caught my eye. Normally I don't scroll and look, but it happened to come up. And I thought, oh, I'd be interested in knowing more about that. Food. We've just spoken about what God does in his world, which he's done and, and recreates and recreates. But we've got evil in the world. We have the devil in the world and his minions and his people that follow him. In fact, I watched very disturbed Taylor Marshall's um, video on the Satanists in America actually got pictures of them when you're baptized it's forever it's a baptism on your soul you cannot unbaptize yourself not even god would it, that's the mark of god on your soul forever but these idiot people young ones foolish ones smiling ones daft ones were going up in this satanic church because they've got several in america and going through a, a, a mimicry of baptism that we, 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 and they were obviously, some of them were baptised people once, as babies probably, going there to be unbaptised, but they can't, it's a forever mark on your soul, it cannot come off. And they went through this ceremony of being unbaptised. They, they are practising evil worship of satanism and deliberately denying god but i've gone off the track i am talking about food because that's what the meditation was now these is a list of 25 i might might not have written them all down because i was so shocked that i just picked up my normal book that i record all my things in uh, recordings and i wrote in the back of it these are going to be the 25 things we're going to be really sure of in the world. And maybe they're going to disappear forever. And not not in the far too distant future. Not not We're not talking of a long way away. Meat. I'm just going to list them. Because I don't know if I wrote them all down. Meat. Chicken. Wheat. 30% reduction. Cereals, milk and dairy, rice, maize, vegetables, oils, pasta, mustard, sugar, palm oil, a 55% increase on something um, disappearing, maybe the bees, honey, 49% down, cherries, coffee, Wine, 85% drop because of the grapes. Potatoes, 15%. Beer, bananas, chocolate, 40%. Soya beans, I don't like soya or anything. 28%. Strawberries, maple syrup will disappear. Peanuts, fish, 85%. And crab, cancelled. Tomatoes. Blueberries, 15%. Corn, oranges, yellow dragon disease or something written down here by me and I don't know what I wrote. Almonds, 500 million something. Well, I made these notes late last night. I'm very late because I don't go to sleep right away when I finish recording. I, I just can't. And sometimes I, I pray a lot, but I've been praying and recording. So, but these, this is, I'm asking you to pray about all these things because it's man created, destroying the world, destroying the crops, bringing in any of these seeds that are not normal natural seeds. They promised us 20 years ago that they wouldn't be making us have them, that they would be going to third world countries. What lies that is? They, uh, they've decimated farming. They've just, they're in the middle of destroying farming all over the world and, and the seeds that we use and grow 
how evil is that? We need to pray. I'm asking you to join with me in your own private prayers, praying against all this stuff. This is serious. And we've just read how beautiful. But God will, God will sort it all out in the end. But this is so wicked and evil. That's why maybe what we believe is there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. Yes, because they're destroying this one. They're destroying this one. I'm going to pray now and forget this, but I might actually type up these things at the bottom if I'm not too tired. The names of what I learned on this video. It's not make-believe, I can assure you. I'm telling you the truth. It, well, I don't listen to idiots. I try not to. <laughs> I don't have a television, a television, so I look at certain things on YouTube, like people do. So I'm going to pray the evening prayers to cheer ourselves up and pray against all that evil destruction of all the basic foods that we need. And, well, the shops are already emptying here in England. I don't know about where you live, but people are complaining you see especially families they'd notice it more than old people like me because we don't buy as much as we used to but bet if we went back and look for something it's not there we'd be surprised you see but you wouldn't because you shop all the time in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen evening praise for the light O joyful light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the sun's hour of rest, the lights of evening round us shine. We praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Worthy, pardon me, are you, O Lord, at all times to be praised, with undefiled tongue, O Son of God, O giver of life, therefore you are glorified throughout the universe. A reading from Romans 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, Reading from Psalm 61 In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you attack me to break me down, as though I were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy they take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest, my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust in him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, the great an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing. Only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay us all according to our deeds. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, <coughs> as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The scripture reading is taken from 1 Corinthians 15 verses 20 to 22. But in fact Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. 
For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. Now there's a, a pause for silent prayer. The Canticle of Mary, the Magnificat, but Psalm 112 first. Who is like the Lord my God, like the Lord our God, the one enthroned on high, who stoops down from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth? A reading from Luke 1, 46 to 55. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, he, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. And from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Invocations Lord, you have saved us from slavery to sin. Give us the freedom of your children. Help all who seek your light to find it. Let them be consecrated in the truth. We remember the widowed and the orphaned. Comfort them in your love. And together we pray the Lord's Prayer. I will do it in English and also in Latin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Pater nostra qui es in caelis, sanctificatur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in caelo et in terra, panem nostrum, quotidianum da nobis odi et dimenite nobis de vita nostra, sicut et nos dimitumus debitoribus nostri, et ne nos inducus in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. The Hail Mary. The Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu, in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventri tui, Jesus, Sancta Maria Maita Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus nunc, 
et in ora mortis nostrae. Amen. And the concluding prayer. Lord God, ever faithful, see us gathered before you as the day draws to a close. Confirm our hearts in your love and keep us alive in us the memory of your goodness and kindness which have appeared in Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing, may God be merciful to us and bless us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And may the saints of the day pray for us. Saint Winifred and um, I know it's St. Martin de Paul's Day and St. Malachy in Ireland. And I'm just going to make sure that I haven't missed anybody. Just checking. St. Malachy, Ireland. St. Martin de Paul's Peru. He's the patron saint of justice. And... Um, well, she's not in here, St. Winifred. She happened, she happened to live long, long before these saints. And I'm going to record her life because I've got it here in the book that I borrowed from the priest. But there's, so I'm fascinated. I heard it from Walsingham today. I usually listen to Walsingham at lunchtime, midday, and or Glenstall Abbey. I love them too. So it depends who's doing the Mass, who's preaching, and then I watch it. <laughs> if not, I go to Glenstall Abbey. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you, sending you his peace in abundance. And I will write up those food things on this uh, at the bottom of this when I have to type up what the contents are, because you might be interested in seeing the names of the, the food stuff that we will not be readily available for us they're trying to kill us off eh we'll pray against it God will sort them out thank you so much for sharing and praying with one another and for one another and God bless you all thank you